it, Zach was my first call. He was my first call because I knew he had the, the ambition, the hunger, the drive to, that, that was necessary to get this thing off the ground in the right way. Yeah, so I mean, my career started in 2010. Uh, I was a rookie and came in uh, just wanting to get a spot in the 18. That was my goal is to every week be able to put myself in a position to where I could get in a game. And uh, I was successful at that quite often in my first year. Uh, towards the end of the year, um, I played in majority of games and um, towards the end of the year, they, we made it to the final and um, I wasn't selected for the 18. So I think there was a, there was a uh, decision that I made right then and there of, you know, I'm gonna go attack this and I'm never gonna let that happen to me again. I, I think Zach was um, extremely competitive. So he wanted to do whatever it took to win the game. It also has to be known that he, he, he brought his lunch pail every single day, would do the dirty work, but inside that lunch pail was a, a lot of creativity, a, a lot of magic that a lot of players didn't have, could score goals, could create goals, and that whole package is actually a lot of what's translated into him being a phenomenal coach. I, I missed one, one game in my career due to injury and all the other games I was, I was available for, and, uh, that was really important to me to always be available and to uh, make sure that I was capitalizing on every opportunity that, you know, uh, was given to me. So then fast forward to 2012 and that's where I played a, I played a part in, the, in that championship team and that was, you know, the feeling of, you know, the frustration of not being in it in 2010 to being in it in 2012 and playing a part in it was uh, incredibly important to me in my in my development as not only as a player but really as a person to know that you know in a situation I can handle adversity if if something doesn't go my way that you know I'll be okay and I'll be able to put my head down and you know make it right. Zach's ability to learn quickly bring his knowledge to the game but also continue to adapt and evolve is as good as I've ever been around. I learn from him, maybe, I learn from him a lot, but probably even more than he understands um, because he, he's a student of the game. And so seeing him get his voice and, and, and really start to gain his personality, particularly in year three and the responsibility that I give to him uh, is, is truly something special. And again, I think that that's why we, we're in a position right now that we're continuing to try to, to fight for a championship, and, and that's that's our goal, ultimately. But now we've gotten our first playoff win, and now it's time to really go and put some pressure uh, and, and really be aggressive towards uh, winning a Western Conference title and, and winning a USL championship. And so um, that's my goal. That's our goal as a, as a staff, and I'm, I'm looking forward to you know being able to execute on that for the rest of the season. Zach's eye for the game is exceptional. So by that I mean he sees trends that are happening when he's able to review film, both with the opposition and with our team, but probably more importantly, in the moment, in training, in a match, he can really identify this. And Zach is a phenomenal leader, a phenomenal human being that sets the example on the field and off the field for our guys. Being able to help him in year one and him being able to give me a little bit of responsibility was, uh, it really was a dream come true for me because I've been, like I said, I've been studying this league since the, since the year I was in it in 2010 and uh, I, I know it very well and, and now it was time to say like, all right, can you help execute on some, on some good players that are gonna make us successful in year one. There's no doubt about it, I want to be a head coach in this league. Uh, I want to uh, be able to lead a group of, of guys to go out there and win a championship. My goals right now are to win a championship with New Mexico United, and there's no doubt about that. What's the future hold for Zach Prince? Well, I think, one, I, he has to stay present clearly in what we're doing every day and making sure that he continues to fulfill his role uh, to the best of his ability, because I think he, he's currently the best assistant coach in, in the USL, but it's only a matter of time uh, that people start to see what his work has truly been over the past three seasons in particular. I, I want to push myself to the highest level. My ultimate goal is to be 
a coach in the MLS. I, 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 I want to do that. I have a lot of steps in front of me before that happens. I think it's important to have goals. I think it's important to know what you want. But I think the most important thing is to narrow your focus and take it day by day.